Okay, right now I would like to show you how I make my coffee and how it comes out really delicious. And you can try it if you want at home. Um, okay, first of all, you take Maxwell House coffee. Uh, you can use another brand, I don't know, I use Maxwell House. Uh, you grab a filter here, put it in your basket, of course. And what I do is I take the scooper that they give you with a coffee, with a can of coffee. I don't believe they give you these anymore, so I don't know. You just take one of these 1 8 cup scoopers or a tablespoon you could use. And use a heaping, fill it up like that, sort of like that, a heaping scoop. Or a heaping tablespoon. So you use three of these. Okay. Heaping like that. And this coffee is going to taste like really, it's going to taste strong, but I'll show you how to avoid the bitter taste that you can get from it. Okay. Then you take 18 ounces of water. Pour it in the tank. coffee pot on and let it brew. Now, you know, you're saying to yourself, uh, three heaping scoops of coffee, isn't that going to pretty much, you know, be bitter? Well, it is, but um, what I do is, and I'll show you that later, is after I pour it in this cup, I do something to it where it doesn't necessarily taste bitter you're actually getting the um, full flavor of the coffee, the oils and everything in the coffee in a better way because it's stronger, you're using more scoops and you're using less water. And I'll show you that in a minute. Also, if you want to get the ultimate coffee flavor. I'll show you this later on in another video. You can use a uh, carafe. I, I believe it's called, or a, not a carafe, sorry, it's a, a French press. A French press is what it's called, and I have one of them in the cabinet, but I'll show you that another time. That's actually even better, a better way to get better coffee than this. Sorry, we're going to let this, uh, we're going to let this brew now. And then I'll show you the rest of it. Look at that coffee brewing. Yep. Peeing into the canister. Dripping into the canister. And this is if you use a coffee pot like a coffee maker like this. I mean, I don't know what kind of coffee maker you use, but this is basically for this coffee maker, which is, eh, it's just a regular Mr. Coffee. Um, it's the lowest priced one. It's a, that from Walmart that I bought from Walmart. And it's, um, I don't know the model number, but it was about $16.99. Um, I had a better one before that, but that wore out. It had a clock in it and everything. Really, you don't need the clock. They're paying a buck because Every time the electricity goes off, you know, you have to go around and set all your clocks and everything. Then you got to end up, you know, just another clock to set. Unless you're into the whole automatic thing of having your coffee pot plugged in in the morning before you wake up and, you know, it makes your coffee and all that. If you're into all that, that's fine, but I don't need all that. I just uh, would rather do it this way. And if you can wonder why... Uh, you're not getting any sleep at night, and maybe it's because you're making your coffee at 10.30 at night like I am right now. <laughs> you want to make it earlier in the morning, yeah, that's probably a better idea, unless you're a night person. Anyway, it's almost done, but uh, what I want to do first before that is I would like to show you how much sugar I actually put in it. The 
three rounded tablespoons like that. See? Three of those. And you're going to use a big cup now. That's the other thing. You're going to use a, use a large cup like this, sort of like this. And I bought this one at Acme. Didn't buy it at Walmart. I buy a lot of things at Walmart, but I bought this one at Acme. Okay, that's easy. Coffee is just about done here. It's still dripping a little bit. Um, all right, it'll be done in a few seconds. Okay, I think it's done enough. And this, by the way, has an automatic thing. It shuts it off when you pull it out. It shuts off the uh, nozzle so it doesn't drip. Okay, and you look at the, the blackness, the dark color of that coffee, texture, and everything. Now, I'll we'll go over here for a minute, and now, of course, it's time to add the coffee mate to it. Coffee, take your tablespoon, and you're going to add, this is not too much, you're going to add three of these, coffee mate. I don't know if you like to use half and half, or, or heavy cream, or whatever you like to use, but this is what I use, coffee mate. This is the best. I do not like milk in my coffee, regular milk. It just does not do it. And you take three of these, put it in, and you stir it up. Now, if the coffee still looks a little muddy looking, you take a little more and put it in. Right. I see it needs a little more, maybe. Sometimes that happens. But with all that blended together, you're either going to get a nice light brown flavor like this, like you see here, or you might get a little bit of a lighter tan color. In either way, this coffee tastes really good. Yeah, it really tastes good. It tastes like diner, the coffee you get in a diner, and it's really delicious. So. Try it. Try it at home and um, see what happens. See how it goes for you. It works for me pretty good and I like it. So, there you go. There it is.